Hello and a very warm welcome to everyone. This is Sandeep and in the last video we have seen how we can produce singleton objects and in this video we are going to see various ways of injection uh, in which we can inject dependencies. Okay. Uh, before we get into that I would just like to tell you that I have cleaned up some of the code. So the so let's get through the code uh, which we have right now and then we'll get into the various ways of dependency injection. Okay. So uh, here I'm just requesting a square request. Uh, it's a concrete class right now. There is no subclass uh, present in the current code for square request. Uh, so on this request, it just goes to the app module and sees if there is any binding present for square request. There is none. So it goes to square request and attempts to create an object of square request using this constructor on which inject is annotated and here it encounters draw shape now draw shape happens to be an interface so its binding should be present in the bindings in the app module so it consults the binding over here and sees that whenever a draw shape is needed it has to uh, supply a draw square so it goes ahead to draw square and creates an object of draw square using the no arcs constructor over here and once it obtains such a draw square it supplies the draw square over here in the square request constructor and it gives me back square request so that's the code flow right now uh, we have now uh, if I just run it uh, I can see that a square is being drawn on the console right now uh, here in the square request if we see that we are having this inject on the constructor so this we have been seeing all along and this is called as constructor injection there is something called as method injection and we can use method injection also in order to uh, inject dependencies so for that maybe uh, we can get rid of this constructor and we can write a setter over here Uh, which says set draw shape and this draw shape is just going to accept a draw shape and it just injects it okay like this and we can have inject over here now like this so what we have done is we have removed we got rid of the constructor which we had earlier and we have introduced the setter over here which is set draw shape and um, we have annotated the setter with inject so this is one uh, more way in which we can inject the dependency and this is called as method injection okay uh, so if i run this code now this should run fine and it draws me a square so what's happening over here in the square request is uh, it it obtains a square request and then it calls this setter to inject this dependency and how it obtains a square request it uses a no ox constructor in order to obtain a square request so if you look at the full life cycle uh, then we just uh, ask for a square request for here uh, it goes and checks the binding there is no binding present for a square request so it goes to the square request class it attempts to create an object of it and since there is no constructor present in it it uses the no arcs constructor in order to make an object and after that uh, it also sees that there is an inject annotated method over here so it goes ahead and calls that method and then while calling that met method uh, it encounters that a draw shape is needed and then it consults the binding for draw shape and comes to know that a draw square should be supplied over there so uh for this draw shape uh, a draw square should be supplied now it goes to the draw square and obtains an object of draw square using no rx constructor and that's how it injects uh, the draw square in this setter and that's how this uh, dependency injection happens uh, with method injection so this is one way in which uh, we can do this um, method injection and the other way could be a uh, field injection so in that we even don't require the setter and we can annotate our field with inject uh, that's it so if we just go ahead and run our code it still draws me a square on the console so here the complete uh, life cycle would be that we request for square request uh, here in this line it goes to the app module checks if there is any binding present there is none and it also knows that square request happens to be a concrete class so it goes into the square request class 
attempts to make, make an object of square request using the no arcs constructor and after it obtains me a uh, square request object uh, with no arcs constructor it also encounters that hey there is a inject uh, annotated field over here so it goes ahead and attempts to inject this through reflection api and while doing that it comes to know okay a draw shape is needed so for draw shape uh, it consults the binding now draw shape happens to be an interface and a binding should be present in the app module and we do have a binding present for draw shape in the app module which says that draw shape should be bound to draw square with that it goes to draw square obtains an object of draw square with the no arcs constructor and once that draw square is obtained it goes and injects it in the field over here uh, so that's how it obtains me a square request finally and gives me back square request here so if i just run this it runs all fine so what we have learned in this video is uh, various ways of dependency injection so one was constructor which we have been seeing along and one is method injection and uh, the last one is field injection thank you very much